welcome to our very first video together. Woo! I'm Alex. And I'm Nick. And today we're going to be talking to you guys about our Tobago trip to Blue Waters Inn. We're going to be telling you about all of the adventures that we went on. So let's jump in. We are celebrating our one year of being engaged, our engagement anniversary. So we decided, well, we didn't decide, Alex decided for us that we we're gonna go to Tobago because this was all a surprise for me. Congratulations, darling future husband. Tomorrow, you and I are going to get on a plane. Oh my God, we're going on a plane! And go to Tobago. Alex surprised me with this Tobago trip. So here we are. Here we are. What were your first impressions of Blue Waters Inn? Well, I've been to Blue Waters Inn once before. Not to stay, but I went to have lunch and I visited the beach. My first impressions... We're not this we're time. We're not this time. <laughs> I have like seven year old first impressions, which I don't really remember. But I mean, it is a fantastic location. Like when you drive down the hill into the bay, it's just phenomenal, I think. Just yeah. seeing everything, seeing the bay. Blue Waters Inn is on its own bay, so there's no one else really around. It's really, really, really Coming here and then driving, it was like what, an hour and a half? An hour and 15 minute drive to Blue Waters Inn. From the airport. And you're like kind of weaving along the coastline of Tobago almost the entire drive there. And it's just so beautiful because a lot of it is quite high up. So it's not even like you're flat down on the coastline. It's like you're on these hills and mountains that are just giving you the most incredible views. So the entire drive there, I was just like so excited. When we actually arrived, I was a little surprised by the size. I thought it was going to be much bigger. And that's just me comparing it to like, we went to a Barbados. hotel in Barbados that was massive. So to me, this felt small in a good way. It felt intimate. So that was my first impression was like, oh, this is much more like homey and more intimate than I was expecting it to be. The next question is, what were the rooms like? Our room is beautiful. Yeah, it was really nice. The doors open out, you see the ocean. It has really high ceilings. We were in the, I think it's called the... Supreme beach front something something supreme. I don't know, but it, it was really lovely We were on the second floor So you don't walk straight out onto the ocean, but you're looking out onto the ocean and it's pretty basic I mean you have everything that you need in there a fridge. We had a big king-size bed closet space hangers There's a safe a hair dryer bathroom amenities. And yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Breakfast was included, so that was really nice as well. True, breakfast was included. Hi everyone, we just got here at Blue Waters Inn and it's absolutely stunning. It's a little bit um, rainy on this side, but this side is great. We're here at the restaurant. Nick is figuring out what he wants because the menu's on your phone, you get to decide what you want. We went to the pool, they're like, hmm, weather looks kind of good, we should go to the beach. Good morning everyone, it is day two. We just had our very first night's sleep. It wasn't a great night's sleep, not gonna lie. We were up at like two in the morning, Nick was having a sneeze attack. He gets really bad allergies and I think the pillows might have been dusty, I don't know. We're gonna tell the people the plan. We're gonna book a tour, then I think we're gonna go to the pool. That's it. Good morning from beautiful Tobago. It's looking a little overcast, but I'm hoping that the sun is gonna come out to play. Bearing in mind, we were expecting it to rain on day two. We were expecting it to rain, so we were like, we'll just go to the pool until it starts to rain, then we'll go get some lunch or something. But the weather cleared up, so we decided, you know, let's go to Pirates Bay, which was, came highly recommended. One of my friends told me it's actually his favorite beach in Tobago. My dad said it's his favorite beach in Tobago as well, funnily enough. So we are like, cool, we're gonna go to Pirates Bay. So we called up Oswin, the taxi guy. He Oswin, came. by the way, excellent. He'll, if you come to Blue Waters Inn, he'll probably pick you up, he's great. He picked us up, he dropped us off at the bottom of this hill. Currently going on a walk. <laughs> Not sure what we'll find. We're on our way to Pirates Bay. We're taking a little trek up this beautiful, oh my goodness, I mean, just look at the view. 
please. Does it get any better than that? No, my friends, it does not. You walk all the way up the hill through like the most gorgeous, gorgeous views. You're just looking down, there's a huge bay. It's called Manowar Bay. Yeah, Manowar Bay. And it's bay. a 180 degree view. The camera could never do this justice. Wow. <laughs> like literally you're at the edge of this cliff and you can just look all the way around and it's just stunning. And the blue waters, it's like you get every shade of blue from the top of this hill. It's fantastic. Yeah, so then you get to the top of the hill and you get to these like steep stairs leading down to Pirates Bay. I don't think we actually counted it, but there may have been about a hundred or he more. Uh, yeah, Osman said there were 100 stairs. I feel like it must have been more than 100. Yeah, it's probably more. Even once you go down the steps, it's kind of like you're entering the jungle. There's total jungle vibes. There's plants and trees and bush everywhere. The regular pathway to get to the beach was locked because a tree had fallen. Do you remember? Yeah. So you have to like find your way around the tree. So by the time you reach this beach, you're like, I approve myself. I deserve to be here. Because it really is kind of a trek. But it's not too bad. It's like a 15 minutes. Yeah, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Minute adventure to get there. Anyway, we got there and we pretty much had the entire beach to ourselves. There was like one sailboat in the bay, but I mean, we had a beach to ourselves. It was, it was pretty amazing. walk back from the beach, back up the stairs, which was a trek for me. Nick was just loving life and there I was struggling. The trip was good. Nice 15 minutes, little hike to get there, which wouldn't have been so bad if we didn't have this heavy bag. <laughs> but, so it goes. We didn't know. Yeah, we didn't know it was gonna be. That we were gonna be going on a trek. Walk. We thought we'd literally just be dropped off at a beach. That didn't end up being nice the case. Though. Now we're going for lunch. Now we're, we're seemingly going for a hike up 12 million stairs. And then we'll go to lunch. How are you not out of breath? regular exercise. <laughs> we are now walking back from Pirates Bay. It was absolutely beautiful. I just wish that we had known that like it's a little bit of a hike to get there, but it's a nice deserted beach. Like you're not going to this beach and being with 20 million people, which I love. Like the emptier the better, except always in Trinidad, you have to be careful about safety. Um, but I highly recommend it. And the views are just to die for. And then we walked all the way back down through Charlotteville. We walked along the coastline for most of it, so most of it was just beach. Beautiful. And then Oswin had recommended a lunch spot for us called Suckhole. So we went there for lunch, but they are open, I think, from 12 to 4, but it's definite island time. Like, I think we waited over an hour for our food. But I mean, the food was pretty good at the end of it, but it was just, if you have any plans, <laughs> don't go. Yeah, maybe don't go. Oh, just know that it's gonna take a while. Just go with the expectation that you'll be there for like three hours and you'll be fine. But for us, we're like, oh, we'll just stop and have a quick lunch. But Sapol is definitely what came highly recommended. The food was really good. The food was good. It just took an eternity. Yeah, it just took long, but that's... That's to be expected, you're on an island. Correct. Life is slow here. <laughs> And then when we finally got back to the hotel, Oswin came to pick us up. We went back to the hotel. I think that was like a, what, 10 minute drive? We arrived in our hotel room and what could be waiting for us other than a surprise bottle of Prosecco. Woo. Woo. We just got back to our room and we found this. Just waiting here for us. A bottle of champagne, well, actually Prosecco, which we love. And a little letter that says, thank you for choosing Blue Waters Inn to celebrate your engagement. It's a massive fruit plate and a bottle of Prosecco courtesy of Blue Waters Inn because they knew that it was our engagement bursary. I feel like I'm making this a thing, an engagement bursary. <laughs> well, during COVID times, it will be a thing for many pe people who can't actually have weddings. That's <laughs> true. It's like we can't celebrate what we actually want to do, let's just have engagement bursaries. Anyway, we got the champagne or the Prosecco, we got the fruit platter, and we were like, let's take this to the beach because why not? So we walked it down to the beach and then to our pleasant surprise, we ran into three women. So we already knew two of them. They were both there with another woman called Melissa. Their best friends are going on this like bestie trip to Tobago, which was awesome. We ran into them, we got to drinking, we shared our fruit platter, and then the nights just kept getting better 
better and better. We then all went to the hot tub because I think it was starting to get dark. I think it was starting to get cold in the ocean. Yeah. And we were like, let's go get warm in the hot tub. So we went to the hot tub and then we met these two other people and we just had a great time. And I, in particular, got very drunk and it was wonderful. <laughs> It was a lot of the fun. The hot tub was fun. We brought the speaker down. We had some music going. We had some mute, some tunes. I have to say that the entire staff at Blue Waters Inn, they were so great. Like, I broke a glass and within like... 30 seconds. This woman called... Chantal. Chantal showed up with a, a broom and a little... What's that called? You know what I'm talking a dust about? Bun. A dustpan. A <laughs> dustpan. And she was there and she was making jokes and like everyone who works there is just lighthearted and fun and playful and that's the exact kind of vibe that you want when you're on vacation. Then moving on to day three. Oh, day three. Day three. Remember Scott and Kaylee came over. Oh, yeah. Didn't we do something in the morning though before they came? Oh, I was hungover. So today the activity of the day is that we have a few friends who have come to visit us and we are gonna go on a glass bottom boat over to that island over there. It's called Little Tobago. I was having like the worst hangover of my entire life and we were supposed to go on a boat tour. To Little Tobago, yeah. but the jetty on Little Tobago is apparently somewhat broken down. The tour operator, Randy, said, listen, I'll take you instead to Goat Island, which is a small island just off of the Bay from Blue Waters in. So we take you to Goat Island, do some snorkeling, and I'll take you to this like pretty secluded other beach. So that's what we did. He sold the beach pretty highly. He said it was a hundred times better than the Blue Waters in beach. It was probably eight to ten times better. Not a hundred. Not a hundred. But it was great. It was it was beautiful. I was definitely feeling hungover. When we got on the boat, I was like, is this gonna work? There was a, it was quite rough to begin with, but it was fine for the most part. We went snorkeling. <laughs> because Randy was telling us that five years ago the coral reef died due to climate change and it was just like such a visual representation of the damage that humans are doing to the earth but simultaneously we were there to have a good time so it's kind of like sweet and sour then we went to the beach the view at the beach was amazing I lay down in the sand for most of it the sand was like glue <laughs> It was. The sand would not come off of you. It would not come off. I like jumping in the water. I thought it would just all come off with, with ease. I know. I need you to literally rub me down. Whoa. Like even like if I just splash. Wow. That is insane. That is in my hair. Oh my god. Wow. Like that is... You gotta write your name in it. Was that sand or glue? <laughs> it's like oil. It's only eight times better. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna give you a final Blue Waters in the review. The review. <laughs> okay, so staff. Everyone was real good. Out of five. Five. I would say five sure. too. We have to give a special shout out to Jason. He was the chef. We haven't spoken about him this whole time. No, he, he was so good. By far the most friendly. He was so catering. He cared. Like on, I think it was on Saturday when I was feeling super hungover, he came out and he was like, what do you want to eat? And I was like, well, I'll have some tomato choca. And they were like, oh no, we only have Mel eggplant choca. And I was like, no, I don't want that. And he was like, well, I'll make you the tomato choca. And I was like, no, no, no. And he was like, yes, I'm here to serve you. Relax. I'm going to go and make you the tomato choca. And then that's just like, oh, that's just the best. So massive shout out to him. He was amazing. Yeah. Food. It's like four out of five. It's I would pretty say good. four out of five. Yeah, it's pretty I good. I think my problem is staying at any hotel. You kind of get sick of the same food again and again, especially for me as a vegetarian. Like there's so few veggie options that I end up eating the same things over and over again. Yeah. The beach. Five out of five. Five out of five for me too. Like stunning beach. Amazing views. The fact that you also have the choice to kind of go to other beaches that are around. You don't have to stick to the Blue Waters in Beach is amazing. I think Charlottesville is just something that everyone needs to see. It's probably one of the nicest like parts of Trinidad and Tobago, I'd say. When we went to Pirates Bay, as soon as we got there, I was like, Nick, I think this is one of my favorite places on the entire planet. It's incredible. And then overall rating, mm. I would say 4.5 out of 5. Yeah, 4.5 out of 5. I think it was a great trip. And I'm so happy that we stayed at Blue Water Inn and I will definitely be going back there. So thank you so much to Blue Water Inn for having us. Also want to tell everyone who's watching this, this is not sponsored. Like we paid for our entire trip there. The only thing we didn't pay for was our Prosecco gift. Yeah. And a fruit platter. But other than that. It was good. It was a good time, yeah. Looking forward to the second part of our trip though. Which we're currently Which we're currently not. Yeah. I don't know that we're gonna do a video for this though. So. Maybe not. <laughs> real high like real. Anyway, thank
thank you guys so much for watching. We would love to hear from you in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, let us know below. We'd love to know, have you ever been to any Caribbean islands? Where has been your favorite place to visit? We'd love to hear from you. Other than that, subscribe, like, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you. That was fun. That was fun.